Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Let's Play series um, on our channel. Uh, today we're going to be playing Nightmare for the MSX computer. Uh, this is a game from uh, Konami. Uh, the, it came out in 1986 and um, it's a weird mixture of a horror game and uh, a shoot 'em up. It's a we can consider a horror game back at the time, you know. Today wouldn't scare anybody. <laughs> But um, back in the day, uh, it was it had a little bit of a horror theme, and which I I like very much. And um, see, there's a little bats, and you shoot these arrows uh, on the enemies that are coming from the top of the screen. It's a shoot 'em up. Um, you can improve your character. You see with the little P that it, I was shooting. Um, you can uh, you can uh, you can get shield if you get a light blue P, you get a shield, if you get a dark blue, you get a, you get speed, the character moves a little bit faster, um, and you have this, uh, you see this little uh, interrogation points, uh, look, I got a shield, um, and uh, you know, have, have bats coming up at you, um, it's a very cool game, um, you see the, but I was talking about those interrogation points on the, on the floor, you shoot them, they're like slabs, and you shoot them, and uh, you have these little prizes. If you get a light blue thing, it's uh, you get points. You know, the red one, it's going to stop time, and you can uh, shoot everybody that's on the screen uh, freely until the time runs out. And um, the time it runs out, uh, enemies come down from the screen again. And um, all in all, it's a... It's a very cool game. I like it very much. Uh, you see these, uh, these little guys, these little blue guys with um, um, have some little horns. You know, those are a little tough to kill. It takes a couple of sh uh, shots to kill them. You see this uh, ball that I'm shooting? You see, that you can change the weapon. I love this sword. Though. The sword is really fast and uh, it gets all the characters... Um, they kill almost every single character instantly and uh, I like it I like it very much as well and uh, if you get it a second time you get like two swords and it becomes even more powerful than this um, see for every character you kill there's points and uh, it's one of those uh, uh, classic uh, arcade style games even though this game is exclusive to MSX this game uh, never came out on any other platform you see See now I have two uh, two swords. Look how fast they are. They're much faster. You can you can kill a row of bats uh, in a in an instant with this one. But uh, yeah, I was talking about the the game being uh, uh, exclusive to MSX, and uh, even though it's a uh, it's a uh, arcade style game, never came out anywhere else. It kind of surprises me that uh, this game never came out on the NES, for example. Because it, this is it would be very suitable for the NES. Uh, very few people that did not have an MSX knows about this game. Um, the CDP, it changes to red. I believe when it changes to red, your your character uh, gets red and it kills everything you touch. And then when it's white, you get invisible and uh, you cannot get killed by anyone. The song and this music is really cool. I like this, the the music very well, uh, very much. I like the music. Um, if you get if you get the circle, what is this? Shining. There's no weapon on it. Then uh, you just get points. Now we come to the the first boss in the game. This crazy lady, uh, and she bounces left and right. I'm gonna see right now. Look. I mean, all you have to do is keep shooting at her and uh, be careful with the little clouds because when you hit the clouds they go straight at you all right and uh, you should protect you from her shots <clears throat> there you go well I got killed <laughs> I got killed at the same time that I killed the the boss but uh I, I finished up the stage let's go to stage number two 
And you know, this game is very hard. You know, it's gonna it's gonna get really hard, even harder right now. And uh, then again, this is just a, a quick let's play. Let's see. See, the scenery doesn't change much. You know, this, this time the floor is red, and uh, instead of the columns, they have little bushes. But the, the enemies are gonna change. You're gonna see much harder enemies right now. Is he gonna get the little blue horse, uh, head horse, chess horse? You know, it kills all the characters in the screen. Look at those little blue demons. You know, they... There's a column of blue knights with horns to kill me. I have horns too. <laughs> I'm a little knight. It's a, it's a nightmare. Anyway. All right. There we go. Let's get a new shield. You see the 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 music changes from uh, each stage. This game has eight stages, but it's really it's a really hard game. I don't believe I ever finished this game without some kind of cheat. There you go, my sword, my favorite weapon. You know, when you think about uh, when this game was made and uh, for what system and the limitations of the system, this is a pretty awesome game. It's a pretty awesome game. I recommend anyone try it. You know, you can try on emulators. Uh, right now I'm playing, I'm, I'm actually playing the Raspberry Pi. I'm not playing the real MSX system, even though I have one. Uh, but I'm not playing. Look, look this, this weapon. It's like, it's a flame arrow. It's very good too. And the light blue gives more speed. But uh, like I was saying, yeah, there's, uh, I'm not playing on the MSX right now. I'm playing on the on the Raspberry Pi. I have uh, an image here loaded uh, with all sorts of games, so I can uh, I can do those let's plays. Uh, because um, I could not connect my uh, my capture card, uh, the Elgato. I could not connect the Elgato to the MSX2 that I have, you know. And uh, I, I think I need to buy more more cables. I'll try to connect later with uh, a mixture of HDMI and SCART cables. Uh, that should work. But for now, it's not working. So. Most of my capture captures I'm gonna make using the Raspberry Pi, you know. Oh, there you go. Got killed finally. You know, man, this game is just really hard. It gets really tough real quick. So look at look at this. How how can you how can you evade that? There you go. You only have two lives. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was uh that was nightmare. Um, it's a classic, uh, MSX, MSX classic, uh, it works on MSX one and, um, and, uh, also an MSX two, if you have one, but it's an MSX one game, which is even more impressive. 32 K game, uh, only 32 kilobytes. It's really impressive. Either way, um, let's take a look at some of the stages. You know, one of the cool things about the MSX games is that, uh, especially Konami games, most of them, uh, if not all of them, have this attract mode, just like arcade machines. And, um, and you can see uh, how the game plays. Uh, same way you would on an on a, on arcade uh, machine, or a normal arcade machine. And um, it's cool because you can take a quick look at how the stage look like. So that's the second one, the one that we just played. Uh, let's see how the third stage looks like. Then again, it's eight stages on this game. Let's go. Our track mode is going to show us up. Uh, the third one is like a desert. Um, you see these little balls? They look like fireballs? I don't know. Um, then again, man, it's 8-bit uh, <laughs> it's, uh, graphics, you know. Let's see uh, fourth stage now. Let's see how it looks like on the attract mode. There you go. Yeah, it looks similar to the first one. Of course, harder. 
Uh, it has those columns instead of gray, they're red on this one. Uh, so you have your assortment of bats and the blue globs that shoot uh, white pellets on you. <laughs> um, okay, let, there's now a uh, fifth stage, right? Let's take a look at the fifth stage. So it's, it's like you're inside a castle now. It has uh, those dark blue uh, bricks. Have ghosts coming at you. you know, track modes are really quick. <laughs> really, really quick. And uh, Nightmare had uh, two sequels on MSX. The both of the MSX one, but those other two cartridges they use the Mega ROM, so they have uh, 128k instead of uh, 32k. And uh, we'll do some let's play on those two. Uh, the third one it's fully full Japanese called Shalom Nightmare Three, but uh, on the Raspberry Pi we can uh, play a translated copy. So. Maybe we'll do a uh, let's play on that one in the future. The second one is really good. It's really good. It's a platformer, actually. It's not a shoot 'em up. All right, so let's take a look next. It's probably going to be the last stage of the game. Let's see how it looks like. There you go. It's another gas or it's a city or some sort. There are columns over there. Well, that's uh, that's nightmare for you for the MSX. Uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks again, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. We have more Let's Plays coming. We have even more stuff uh, planned for the channel uh, that all retro gamers uh, will enjoy. So thanks again for watching. Uh, subscribe, comment below. Uh, Want to criticize me, feel free to do so. I don't care. All right? Thank you so much, and have a great day.